Nine months ago, if you had told these 18-year-olds they would be computer programmers, they wouldn't have believed it. They were still in secondary school and they had no computer skills. Then they joined a project called Girls Can Code and today they speak like experts. Most of the time we don't use the numbers. Uh, we use letters and uh, some signs on the keyboard. It's easy. Uh, but how we use them is the basic part. So uh, there are lots of languages in it and you can use interchangeably or together. All of them. Hannah Solomon has taken her new skills a big step further. She has developed a website to guide tourists visiting Ethiopia. Before coding, I was thinking like uh, go to medicine and be doctor or dentist or something like that. But uh, when I take this coding or GCC project, uh, I think more like web, web developer and medicine or something like that. So uh, it makes my option, options more. The girls attend training sessions every Saturday since they have to attend school too. They add in training during the week whenever they have the time. 40 young girls have so far graduated from this pilot project in Addis Ababa. There is a plan to extend it to 200 more girls in four other cities in Ethiopia. The program is funded by the U.S. Its target goes beyond just developing computer coding experts. We hope that the girls who uh, like it, who have an affinity for it, who realize that they can do it just like the boys can do it, then major in science and technology in universities. The program employs young females like software student Hewat Bishau as trainers. There are so many stereotypes. You should study this, you should study that, it's not for you. But after uh, this session and the, these courses, they find it so much easier. Internet access remains low in Ethiopia, but these girls have been given a real opportunity to get ahead in an industry that is vital to the entire continent. Colette Anjoy for CCTV in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.